Daniel Farker, did, did we see today that the difference between the two sides being that composure in, in the final third? Yes, perhaps perhaps uh, that was the difference. So in general, I think um, the first 50 minutes we had some problems to, to adapt to this uh, level and because we changed a bit our, our pressing behaviour today and the first 50 minutes, um, yeah, Fulham have had a lot of uh, possession without creating a chance, but uh, they were even uh, a bit better in the team from then on. I think uh, we not only played on their level, we were even the better side. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we won all statistics. We had more shots on the goal. We had more blocked shots. We won more duels in the second half. We had more possession. So. I think um, Fulham right now at the moment is the best team in the league and we were in all statistics and uh, even when you watch the game, uh, the better side, so we had the better chances. But I mentioned several times before, so um, football isn't fair, so you have to take uh, by yourself uh, the well-deserved credit and we were not able to take it because we were not able uh, to score the first goal. And yeah, I think Fulham uh, were able to do this, so they, uh, can, um, they had just uh, three situations where they were able to score and out of this, um, two goals. So the first situation was when Angus decided to come out of his goal a little bit crazy, but uh, Christoph blocked the shot, and um, yeah, with their first chance, they they were able to score out of a yeah situation. Um, it was complicated to defend, but um, yeah, good behavior of Mitrovic uh, was there then with the header, and um, they went in lead, and then it it was difficult in the second situation. Um, okay, we forgot to to save uh, the counter. And um, yeah, then the crossing situation and a bit, bit unlucky because uh, Tim um, didn't uh, hit the ball in the, in the right direction. But yeah, it was like it was. And uh, yeah, out of this three, three situation, they were able to score two times. Although we had more chances, had more possession in the second half, one more duel shot, had more shots on the goal. Yeah, they won this game and um, yeah, it's sad today. It, it, it does sum up your season, doesn't it? We've talked a lot about a lack of goals. And today, generally, the game plan worked pretty well. But when you've got players in the final third, Sometimes the decision making that that execution w was missing today, wasn't it? Yeah, but decision making in the in the first half, I think, because otherwise we would have uh, even a bit more clearer chances. In the second half, we created uh, many chances, but without that, you can say it was a big uh, miss, like in the last games or whatever that uh, that we had in the home games, where we scored three times, but could easily score six or seven times. Yeah, to be honest, it's not so easy uh, to to uh, face the best opponent in the uh, in the league at the moment. Fulham right now, 17 games unbeaten, and create. Uh, many many chances you have to be effective and we had many situations today um, where we could use this situation to to score but if you don't score then it could be that there is this one situation where the um, then the big favorite um, and the team who's who's on fire and sits uh, nearly on top on the table is is able to to use this chance and it was exactly this game yes and we saw a difference in, in the confidence today didn't we because when Angus Gunn made that save from Mitrovic there were several players following it up and and that always makes a difference doesn't it and maybe we don't see that with Norwich sometimes yeah perhaps we can interpret this a little bit uh, but perhaps we can also say it was unlucky that it was directly in the di direction of, of the strike and not to Alex Tete or whatever so it is like it is so sometimes you got the feeling so it's 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 fate when you're on top of the table sometimes you you win games and you can't explain why you win uh, win this game I think uh, Fulham is, is pretty pretty happy that they, they were able to uh, to win this game because they know we were there um, uh, nearly on, uh, no on the same level and even the better side um, but uh, you take this game because there are three uh, three important points for them uh, in the fight for promotion. Um, I'm happy with our performance. I'm ha totally pleased with our commitment today, with our with our with our load, with our um, fighting spirit, and also with our performance because uh, we were able to dominate Fulham like um, in the last months. No team was able to do this, and yeah, sadly we didn't get the well deserved cre credit. They're in the promotion race. You're, you're mid table. I mean. How close to, or how far away, perhaps I should ask, do you feel you are from being a team like Fulham, having now seen your team play against them? Uh, yeah, several positions. Yes, uh, we have to uh, we have to consider. But uh, on the other hand, from the performances, so like several times, we proved again that we are able to play on this uh, on this uh, top top level. Um, in order to be there, um, it's not too much left. But um, yeah, scoring more goals uh, would would help a lot. So I'm pretty sure if we were able to use one of our chances in the first half or even the second half, and even after after being back now too, we had four or five situations where we could um, really uh, easily score. And yeah, in order to be a team who fights for promotion, then we have to score more goals. Uh, that's quite obviously. And, and that is your, your biggest challenge, isn't it, over the rest of this season and, and going into next season? How do you make this team more, more dangerous, more likely to score goals? 
Yes, I think we have a next uh, transfer window when we can um, can work on it. But in general, so today that we didn't score, I think it, it was a little bit more coincidence today because in the recent games, when I think we scored three times at Hull, we scored at Barnsley, we scored three times in the last home game, could even score uh, seven goals. Today we faced the best opponent uh, that you can um, face in the moment in the in the league. And um, yeah, it's not so easy to create uh, to create chance and goals against them. We created several chances. Yeah, this this a bit killer instinct. I think, uh, uh, for example, um, my strikers, my offensive players were there with a really good performance. And um, yeah, for that, I'm I'm, uh, I'm pleased. It's more like they have to come into the rhythm and to to find the confidence. And also, we have some um, perhaps some opportunities to add uh, some quality in the in the in the summer. And, um, if we are able to do this and if we are able to improve our players, for example, um, Dennis Rubini was again there with an outstanding performance for me. It's just a question of time uh, when he scores because he's there um, with the, at the moment with really good performances and um, I'm pretty uh, positive for the future. Just to move on and we'll talk about QPR if we can because that's the next game. Um, when you're picking your team for that one, how much is fitness going to come into it in, in terms of, of the load players have had to carry uh, over the weekend? Mm. Yeah, I think in general we will uh, rotate on uh, several positions, not on eight or nine because that's, that's not healthy for the uh, for the team, but on several positions. Uh, in general, we have a good uh, fitness condition. It's it's not a problem. I think uh, one of the best in the in the in the whole league. But when you have a game against Fulham on uh, on this pitch, so um, it rains a lot and we had to run a lot because Fulham is such a good side. Then I think uh, when you have two and a half uh, days later the next game, then you have to, to rotate a bit, and we will do. But I'm pretty sure that although we will rotate, or so, um, have a strong squad and uh, yeah hopefully yeah to be honest I would like to play this game again when we have uh, Tom Tribal back when we have Moritz Leitner back when we have Marcus Tiepermann back um, yeah when we have Grant Hanley back and, and all the other lads so um, it's it's a situation where we have uh, several uh, several injuries and uh, we have to accept this but it is like it is and we will go further on and try to be there with a good performance at QPR as well. What sort of a game do you expect at QPR because both teams are mid-table do you think it will be any less intense because of that? No because QPR uh, plays always with a big intensity and tries to press and tries to um, be pretty aggressive so I think uh, it's important um, in this in this situation to have the second game within uh, four days um, yeah, that we are calmed down enough and, and also to, to stay in possession, although QPR will try to press us and uh, it, I think it will be important to, to keep the ball and keep possession and, and exhaust the opponent a bit more and then perhaps we can use the situation uh, that it's also for them the uh, uh, th second game within four days. Thanks, Daniel. Thank Thanks you. a lot.